Tim and Joe. Sure thing. Another one for you, Mum. Love it. She, she loves the booze. She does, doesn't she? She's got she a, loves a her taste. Yeah, more more the booze side. Oh okay. yeah, she doesn't mind the shot. Oh yeah, the she shot. likes the boozy, the boozy. Yeah. Well, we've got. I'm she going boozy. to. I'm going to. He, actually, good question to ask the both of you on air. I am going to Perth this weekend for my uh, niece Charlie Rose's first birthday. Now, what do I like? What do I do at a first birthday? Like, you turn you, up. You're obvious. Okay, thank you. You turn Captain up. Obvious. <laughs> and you, <laughs> if your sister there, needs help, you help her. Is there alcohol? Oh yeah, no, there's I mean, alcohol. It it, it, on, no, yeah. no, it doesn't depend. Every kids' party, even at, at, I, I noticed well, on Saturday morning, Saturday mornings <laughs> in the park at 10 a.m. I used to roll my eyes when the kids had a party. Then then I realised there's an esky under the tree that's full of oh. young Henry's cans. I'm oh, like, yes. Okay, yes. I, in your in neck, neck of the woods, I've heard about um some of the North Shore kids' parties getting quite out of hand. But like, not <laughs> a, a, fir- a first birthday party is less about the kid and more, and about, more about the them. adults yeah. having oh, to, them, to have. Them. Some quality time and hang out, and hopefully she's just asleep in the corner somewhere, right? And people say some fun things in the card, like "We made it. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't kill her." Oh, <laughs> and safari theme too. So I'm thinking about wearing wearing oh, my outfit a for a moment. Oh, yeah. This is bougie as hell. Yeah, she's dressing as a little lion. Well, or Well, that something. is that is the opposite of boring. That is the opposite of boring. But we want to know how boring you are now on thirteen twenty four ten. Um, because, well. Over to you, Ricky. I didn't think this was a thing you could do. No, I, I, the, you know what people marry things and like, you know, the Eiffel Tower and the Sydney yeah, Harbour Bridge stations. or a train station or whatever. Or the couch. Well, a couch. Oh, man, I think I've done that. <laughs> JD Vance. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 36 year old London based woman. Her name is Sullen. Mm-hmm. Um, she. Ooh. You know, there's a, the, you know, you're supposed to love yourself, right? As Justin Bieber told me. As Justin Bieber, I'm told that via Ed Sheeran's lyric writing, you should go ahead and love yourself. She loves herself so much that she married herself. And I, I don't don't think that this was a thing. Are yeah. you allowed to? I don't think this is a legal, a proper allowed no, thing. No, it's allowed to. I was invited to a wedding in Bali like a couple of years ago where a mate of mine was marrying himself. Yeah, no, and a wedding, like quote unquote a wedding. wedding in Bali. It, it's like you're from Australia and you have to go to the registry office and like sign it and do all of the paperwork. I don't think legally paperwork wise you can actually marry Can you marry find yourself. that out? Can you, can you marry yourself in Australia? Because I know we worked this out on air ages ago. You can marry pretty much anyone that's not your mum, your dad, your brother or your sister. <gasps> Otherwise, oh, damn, they were my first four choices. <laughs> They're your favourite people. Otherwise, yeah. it is gloves <laughs> off in Australia, it's which is actually, gross. Yeah, and that's what is super frustrating though because for so long there was this argument of, of marriage equality and gay marriage and and it's not. You I know, know, I lost it, so much material. Right? No, and it was. It's, it, that all came down to it being a religious thing, not mm. necessarily a law. Um, but yeah, I, I just I didn't think you'd be able to marry yourself. Just anyway, side note, though, I'm a bit disappointed in our little friend here, Jay, say that you haven't had a big wedding yet. Well, I am in quite a long term relationship. We're almost with a guy eight years. who yells at him when he rolls over to try and give him a kiss in the morning. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He's, very, uh, <laughs> he's not answering my calls today either. Weird. Um, but we are off on a little um, you okay. know, getaway soon. Oh, it's going to so. be great. It's so, how's the marriage with this woman going? Um, so, she it, it hasn't gone very well because she's decided that she's bored with herself. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? I was not expecting that. And she's going to be divorcing herself because that is the end of that. Now, despite her efforts to make the marriage work with herself, Mm -hmm. this is the most cooked thing I've ever read, including attending couple therapy sessions. No. No. Alone. No. (laughs) So does she have to play double price? (laughs) Imagine she sits on one side and then she goes over to the other side and she's like, well, then she said this and then she gets up and runs over and then I said this. (laughs) What about if she passes her (laughs) self-tissues? <laughs> that is um, so cool. Okay, let's talk about it. How? <laughs> Love it so much. So bored. <laughs> Danielle, are you boring? Uh, I am the most boring person you know. I love you, Danielle. Any, I'll do anything possible to stay home. I made up that I was actually in hospital once <laughs> to get out, <laughs> having to go to a wedding. I don't what think that's your, boring. Um, I think that's self-preservation. Oh yeah. What was your ailment? Um, just that I had um, twisted my ankle. Nothing. <laughs> just, <laughs> just my ankle. You just had to limp around for a few months. <laughs> boy, 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 boy. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova.